Um, and this is what's been holding me up. So I have, uh, it's all cleaned up and ready to go, but um, got to weld in the new patch panel right here. Um, this part's ready to go. So I could theoretically just tack everything in and do the body work here. What's good, grind schoolers? It's your boy Robin. We back in the shop today. So today we are finally getting to um, spraying up all the assess or all of the parts that came off of the Impala. We got the spoiler, we got the mirrors, we got the door handles, the bumpers, and all that kind of stuff. We're going to get all that stuff in primer. Um, <clears throat> I still am undecided as to whether I'm going to paint the um, paint the bumpers and everything separate, like on a separate day, or try to spray the car and spray the bumpers, you know, whatever. I haven't figured that out yet, um, so bear with me. But even, or all in all, today... We just gonna spray stuff up, man. Um, get everything looking all one color, um, not all jacked up, not all janky and stuff like that. Um, I know that, like I said, this is taking a lot of time, but you know what I'm saying? I can only do so much. I can only get it done when I can. Um, and I'll show you guys what I've been working on um, so that we can get this car done because the car needs to be done very, very soon. So don't get me wrong, man. I'm gonna work ahead. Y'all not gonna see a bunch of, you know, spraying every little tiny part. We definitely got to get the car sprayed, um, but you just have to bear with me because a lot is going on, um, like I stated in my last video. So anyways, man, uh, before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you get a notification every single time we drop another video. I'm not going to stall out too long. I'm going to just go over what I'm doing. I'm going to spray everything up, and we're going to get to it. So let's get to it. All right, y'all. So I got everything laid out. The only things that I don't have here um together are my trim pieces uh that go around the wheel wells because i didn't get them all cleaned up uh it's really difficult trying to clean it all up so i'm not gonna do that um i'm definitely or i'm i'm also going to move the impala out i wasn't going to because of overspray purposes or i wasn't going to but for overspray purposes i might as well just pull it out whatever um i already got the elko out as you can see um but all I got to do now is mask up the mirrors, clean everything, um, and then I got these little uh, rivets or whatever, and I'm going to stuff them inside the door handle so I could hold the door handle open just like that so I can get good coverage everywhere, um, all up in the door handle and everything. So when you look under there, it's not a different color underneath the door handle, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to get good coverage everywhere. I had to buy two new ones because I broke the original two. Um, so I scuffed this up real good, this chrome. I scuffed it up real good. I'm probably going to try to get around here, this edge, a little bit better. Um, but other than that, man, these are all sanded down, ready to go. Uh, I just got to clean them, like I said. And then I'm going to hit the chrome off with some um, adhesion promoter. Adhesion promoter, scuff it up real good, and we're going to prime everything all up. Uh, I use this piece of metal to kind of get the mirrors off of uh, the like like table and so that I could spray it really, really well. When I had the Elko mirrors, um, I put them down here, which was kind of silly, but it was hard getting down here and getting up under and around and all that kind of stuff. I'm hoping that this won't be that, uh, won't be that difficult. Start, you know, spraying underneath, boom, 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 back and forth, boom, 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 and then come to the top just like that or from the top to the bottom, however that work out. It doesn't really matter. We gonna get it um, together and it's gonna look great so um all that stuff here is already set ready to go um and then over here the bumpers i went ahead and i sanded the bumpers down um already got them all cleaned up ready for spray as you can see it looks all ashy that's not going to be anymore this bumper here is finally going to have a color on it it's not going to be black it's all going to be one color um and then also I had to, um, uh, I went ahead and I don't know if I showed you guys this or not, but this corner piece had broken off of this bumper. And what I did was, um, I still had the piece and I've had the piece forever. I tried to fiberglass it before it didn't work. Um, so I got some plastic weld. 
I plastic welded that piece on there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray over it, you know what I'm saying, with the primer. And then we're gonna go back and body fill it, smooth it out, and you'll never be able to tell that that piece had broken off. Um, also, one of these tabs on the inside, here it is right here, you could tell, because my job is not that great. Um, but this was broken. Um, it wasn't broken off, but it was broke. It was snapped right here. So it was like flipping, flopping, and all that kind of stuff. And all I did was plastic weld it together. And now I could attach my, um, I think uh, the lower part of my, uh, um, this black thing I'll show y'all. Cause I don't know what it, what it would call, but I think one of these things at the bottom attaches to it. You know what I'm saying? So now I can attach it. No harm, no foul. At first it was flopping. So we'll be good there. Um, what else? What else? What else? Oh yeah. I also fixed this area here with that plastic weld. This is that part where, um, they had backed my car into the wall and you know what I'm saying? That had broken off. So we just got a body fill over that and, you know, shape it, make it look nice. Just like this side is over here. Original. Um, I'll make that little indention right here and we'll be good to go, man. Um, but yeah, for the most part, like I said, everything's all solid. Um, and this is what's been holding me up. So I have, uh, it's all cleaned up and ready to go, but, um, got to weld in the new patch panel right here. Um, this part's ready to go. So I could theoretically just tack everything in and do the body work here. Um, dash, I think I told y'all this, but dash, let me get the welder, um, to do that. I got the welding gas, um, I went to his house to pick up the regulator, so we got the regulator. So this here um, is almost done. It's almost done. It will be done shortly, and then we can finish up the rest of the car. And this has been my holdup. So I got everything I need um, to get all that stuff done, but I still got to cut out all of this right here on the underside. I still have to cut all that out. I'm going to cut this piece out, the front piece, because there's a front piece and then there's a back piece. I'm going to cut out the front piece so I can get rid of all of this uh, cancerous material. Um, and then, yeah, man, I mean, I think we'll be good to go. So, like I said, that's what, what needs to be done. And then we'll keep it moving. All right, y'all. So, got the spoiler primered up. Got the mirrors primered up. Door handles primered up real good. Uh I don't know, there's a little spot I'm gonna have to get, but um, over here, also got the bumpers primered up. Um, it was kind of real difficult trying to get these bumpers, man, because uh, the primer kept on coming out of the gun all trashy, you know what I'm saying? Like this panel did pretty good. This uh, back bumper did pretty good. Um, there's some imperfections that we're gonna have to uh, knock out like right here um we'll have to fill in we'll have to fill in right there we'll wet sand get it all nice and pretty got to fill in right there obviously got to fix this all that up got to sand all these runs and stuff out got to sand that out uh and do some body work on these bumpers or at least the rear bumper and yeah we should be good obviously wet sand this too make it nice and smooth um but yeah so for the most part we're good um the primer started coming out real nice um uh, real nice on this bumper started messing up on that bumper so um unfortunately um it took me a lot longer than i anticipated and i used an entire quart of primer to get just this bumper that bumper and all that stuff over there man and uh yeah so we're gonna have to smooth all this out. You can see it's nice and bumpy and stuff like that. We're gonna go ahead and knock that out with some 320 wet sand. And um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reprime. After I, uh, 320 wet sand, I'll probably, or yeah, I think I'll 320 wet sand or 180, I don't know, I don't know. Um, probably not 180 obviously, cause this is probably your thing, but well, 320 uh, wet sand, we'll prime over it again uh probably wet sand again um and then uh yeah i don't know i don't know man we'll see we'll figure it out it depends on how far i i go down under this primer and how deep it actually will be so i might be able to knock down 321 wet sand and then just go to my ceiling 
Um, the only reason why I said I wanted to try to prime again probably is because I think that I'll probably burn through a lot of this primer trying to knock it down. But we'll see. We'll see what happens once I'm done. Um, and yeah, I uh, pretty much ran out of primer. So um, it's like this is like one coat. This is like one coat. And that's the reason why I want to prime again. But um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But for now, this is what we got. And yeah. We'll uh, do the rest later, man. Um, so I don't know when I'll be able to jump back on it. Um, this was a, a nice move forward. Uh, this video, you probably won't see the bumpers painted. I'll just go ahead and do that uh, by itself. And then we'll start getting everything else together. I probably won't show y'all the painted bumpers until the car is painted and together. Um, so we'll see what happens. But um, this makeshift little stand that I made out a piece of metal I had worked perfectly. A lot better than trying to crouch down and trying to contort my hand and do all kind of extra crazy stuff. Um, here we got some imperfections that we gotta get to too um, as well. Let me see here. No, I don't think that's it. Uh, there's a piece, there's a chip piece right there I'm gonna have to get to. There was another chip piece that I saw this is chipping right here, so we'll have to get that. And then I chipped this one off yesterday. So uh, we got a few areas we got to hit off with some, probably some uh, fiberglass filler. Um, the reason why I'm doing the fiberglass filler is because instead of body fillers, because I don't want it to chip again. And this is fiberglass. So everything is pretty much dried up and I can start putting stuff up. Oh, it chipped right here as well. Or we got to fill that in too. So. We got a few areas to fix up, man, but for the most part, everything is good. And yeah, one step closer, y'all. One step closer. I know it's been a struggle, but we getting there. We getting there. All right, guys, schoolers, that's going to do it for this video, man. I hope y'all enjoyed. Uh, I was just priming up all the rest of the miscellaneous pieces, trying to catch it up to where the car is currently at. Um, so once all that stuff is done, well, now that the primer is done, I'll go ahead and wet sand everything. Um, I still got to wet sand the car. I still got to wet sand, um, all the, you know, pieces that are primed up today and all that kind of stuff. So we'll do all of that stuff together. Um, and then all of that stuff will be ready to paint at the same time that the car is going to be painted. Um, last thing I have to do and get done are those two quarter panels. We're good, and we can spray the car, y'all. Um, I know it's been a long, 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 long time coming, but, hey, we getting there. We getting there. You just got to bear with me, man. Um, you know, this is not what I do for a living. This is not something that I could just go in and work all day, every day on to get it done. So, but we're getting there, man. Uh, but anyways, man, like I said, I, I hope y'all enjoyed it. I appreciate all the love. I appreciate all the support. Um, I didn't show myself spraying the car or spraying the bumpers and stuff, obviously, because for one, I wanted to just get it done. And for two, um, I mean, y'all have seen me do that plenty of times, you know what I'm saying? And it's not like it's the car or nothing. But um, yeah, anyways, man, I just wanted to catch everything else up to the car uh, so that we're not far behind with the car already ready to be or already painted and good to go. And then I still got to paint other pieces. I didn't want to do that. I wanted it to be done all at the same time. So uh, pretty much what I'll do is I might have the handles in the wing and the mirrors and all that kind of stuff. I'll have that setting off to the side. I'll have the um, bumpers setting off to the side. I'll mask as much stuff up as possible. Uh, probably wet the floor up real good. And then um, I'll paint the car and then I'll paint the small pieces the same day, the same time I paint the car. So um, I'm not going to do it how I did the Elko and paint uh, the mirrors and the bumpers and all that kind of stuff uh, different at different times than I, I painted the car uh, because it's pearl and it's not really that big of a deal um, to like paint it separately. But with candy, you got to paint it all at the same time. So I want to make sure my mixtures are all the same. I want to make sure everything's all the same and I want to smack it off all at the same time so that you know what I'm saying? There's no uh, inconsistencies in the paint. And you know what I actually might do is I might move all of this stuff over to that side of the garage and I might just hang my bumpers, um, at least the front bumper, at least the front bumper. Um, I might just hang that on the car itself. 
Mm, I don't know. We'll see. I'll probably, I, yeah, I'll probably, you know what I'm saying, like go ahead and put the back bumper back onto the car. I'll take the tail lights out, obviously, put the back bumper on the car, and I'll just have it hanging there so that I can get in the gaps with the paint. And I'll paint all of that at the same time so that I don't have any indiscrepancies. And also, too, I don't like painting the bumpers how they're sitting on the stands um, right now because um, the paint falls off the edge and it drips. And then I start having runs. And if that happens with the, uh, if it happens with the candy, then it's a wrap. So I want the paint or the bumpers sitting like level, like with the car or horizontal, however you want to call it. Um, so that it doesn't run off of the car. You know what I'm saying? So we'll go ahead and spray everything up at the same time. We'll leave a little gap and then that's how we'll do it. We'll put the bumpers back on the car and then, um, we'll spray all that stuff at the same time. Um, but yeah, man, that's going to do it for this video. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification. So you get a notification every single time we drop another video. I definitely always appreciate all the love, all the support. I'm trying to crank out as much content as possible for you guys. Um, and yeah you know what i'm saying i feel like i'm doing a pretty good job uh please let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below um and like i said i know it's been such a long time with this impala man but you know we're getting to the final stages before you guys actually see the car a hundred percent painted um and then yeah man because i'm tired of looking at it like you know how it is i want to slide my impala um, this car I probably will drive in the winter time. The Elko I'm definitely not driving in the winter time, but this one is next up. I'll probably drive it in the winter time, so we'll we'll be able to get all that content. So, anyways, man, um, I'm not gonna hold y'all anymore. Um, like I said, man, uh, I definitely appreciate all the love. Always remember, work hard so you can live free.